here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for November 5th. And today we're talking about the opening of the Yacht Club Resort in 1990 on this day. It was a it, it is a five-story, 630-room resort, um, slightly larger than its sister resort, the Beach Club. Um, so it opened at Walt, Walt Disney World, and it's located there with the Beach uh, Resort, and then Epcot, um, or it's west of Epcot, and then also not far from Hollywood Studios, and it's set around um, the 25-acre Crescent Lake there. Um, the deluxe resort resembles the New England seaboard uh, hotels of the late 1800s, so like Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. So both the yacht and beach club enjoy and share a lot of amenities and also staff. And uh, of course, they share that amazing resort pool, the Storm Along Bay, um, which resembles a beachside water park with a sand bottom. It's a sand bottom pool. Um, it has a, um, a circular lazy river and the shipwreck um, water slide, which is one of the biggest water slides at Walt Disney World. So we haven't gotten to enjoy the beach club or the yacht club yet, but I have so wanted to experience this pool. It sounds amazing and a lot of fun. I know a lot of people stay at the beach club and the, the yacht club to enjoy uh, this particular pool. Um, so it is across from Disney's boardwalk. So you, when you're staying there, you get views of the boardwalk and it's quite beautiful. We have walked over there and gone to Beaches and Cream, which is, you know, almost right in between um, the beach club and the boardwalk, but it's more part of the beach club. So you can see the views of the boardwalk and it's, it's just gorgeous. Um, so they also, more amenities of the Yacht Club is the shipwreck beach area and they do have movie nights there and sing along campfires. And then there's a quiet pool, <laughs> which everybody needs um, at all the resorts, uh, just a quiet pool for mostly adults to, to get away <laughs> and have some quiet. Then the arcade, um, Lafferty Place. Hel the health club is called uh, ship shape <laughs> and bayside marina where you can actually rent watercraft and tennis and i'm not 100 percent sure if any or all of that is available at this time but um you know when things are normal of course you can enjoy all those features of this resort so the beach club actually shares a 73,000 square foot um convention area with two ballrooms and 21 smaller breakout rooms um, and it was expanded in 2019 by 28,000 uh, square feet and there's a covered walkway from the yacht club so very um, you know good for conventions and people who want to have conventions can stay at the yacht club and have huge conventions there um, right next door and covered walk walkway is perfect here in Florida where <laughs> you never know when it's going to rain. <laughs> Both the yacht and the beach club were designed by multi-award winning designer Robert A. M. Stern. I was really excited to learn about him and his work. Um, he was actually the former dean of Yale University School of Architecture and director of the Historic Preservation Program um, at the Graduate School of Architecture Planning and Perserva Preservation at Columbia University. So extensive historical architectural knowledge and I think it really shows with these two resorts and um, it just impressed me that Disney went to hire someone like him who was so talented in architecture. So his work, um, other work besides these two resorts can be seen in numerous galleries including the Museum of Modern Art, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Art Institute of Chicago. So you could you know, if you're ever at those museums, check out um, A.M. Stern. And of course, 
go visit these two resorts and you'll really get a, a look of his talent. Um, so that's just to name a few. He has other, um, you know, places and galleries where his art is. So, um, at the, the Yacht and Beach Club, both, like I said, have easy access to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. And that's why they're so popular. Not only are they gorgeous resorts with so many wonderful amenities, but then you can walk to, right to Epcot. You can also walk to Hollywood. And we've, we've done both. And it is not a far walk. <laughs> of course, there's transportation and the most fun are the boats. And so I know the boats have been running um, from the yeah, from the beach club and as well across the way from the boardwalk to I believe both Hollywood and Epcot and those are so easy to take it's like five or ten minute little boat ride and you're to the parks but you could walk too but who wants extra walking when you're at the parks and taking a boat is just another ride so it's just a perfect place to stay of course you can see some of the fireworks from Epcot when those are running and I don't know for sure but you might be able to see the fireworks at Hollywood Studios as well I don't know that I but maybe some of you if you've stayed at the Yacht Club maybe you know whether you can see those fireworks too just great resorts all around Crescent Lake there so fun to stay at the Yacht Club does have a pretty amazing restaurant that Ale and Compass restaurant and then there's the Ale and Compass bar and lounge um, they serve breakfast and dinner right now and you can get a reservation I did check on that um, so steak and fish and pasta lots of interesting and good dishes but the one thing that I thought was really interesting was the New England seafood pie I was thinking it's a pot pie so I love the seafood pie over at Epcot for the uh, food and wine and so I would really like to try this pot pie and then plus for one of their extras that you can add on to your meals is truffle fries truffle fries that sounds wonderful <laughs> so um, at the there's also a quick service the market and ale and compass and for breakfast it's you know the same things that they serve everywhere but you can get mickey waffles there and not all the quick service breakfasts all of them have mickey waffles but they do at this one and then for their lunch and dinner you can get paninis all different paninis and um a footlong chili dog footlong chili dog hot dog and then also um there was a cuban sandwich on there so i know a lot of people love those cuban sandwiches desserts things like caramel cheesecake and cookies and tre cream trifle all the resorts tend to be having holiday treats as well i've noticed so you're gonna get that too probably if not there at at the beach club for sure so really amazing resort so cool it opened in 1990 and i think it's it stood the test of time it's somewhere i would love to stay both there and the beach club but i'm personally waiting till things are um more back to normal and everything's opened up because there's even more amazing things to do in restaurants and <laughs> just want to give it more time for our first day over there but that's it for this day in disney and i hope you enjoyed it we'll see you guys next time bye